I am Alex Kolaskov, commercial photographer, founder of Photage.com. I help other photographers to understand principles of studio lighting, to develop new techniques and to grow their business. Have you ever asked yourself, why do the best clients always choose somebody else for big, expensive, creative, interesting photography projects, but not you? Not always, but it happens, right? Have you ever struggled with getting the shots the way you and your client vision it? When you do everything you can with your camera and lights and studio and then in Photoshop, but it doesn't work the way you want it. Or maybe you remember that fear and uncertainty when you taking the assignment with a complicated shot which you have never ever done before. Great assignment. And you got that mixed feeling between yes, I've got it and oh man, how are we gonna shoot this? See, uh, I was in the same situations many times. Like you, I had to pay for advertising, for mailing postcards. I was trying to fill my portfolio with my best, what I believed, images. But it didn't help me to get the clients I wanted to work with. I felt that frustration after spending hours, days and sometimes weeks in the studio working on challenging shots and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I felt so bad when I couldn't find how to get the shot done myself or I couldn't find any solution uh, on other resources for that uh, particular subject. I was really angry at myself many times and maybe this gave me a power to go back and fight spending fortune in the studio trying again and again to get that shot done the way that I can be proud of it. Eventually I developed techniques to produce great shots from subject of any complexity. So you're not alone. I am here to help you. Okay? I found solutions for the most challenging subjects in advertisement and product photography and I'm going to share them with you. I used to photograph almost everything from landscapes, people, animals, fashion, architecture, products, liquid food, everything. And I had all these different type of photography examples in my portfolio and I love those images. Now let me ask you this. How deep, experienced and professional can be photographer or for example doctor or lawyer if he or she claimed to be specializing on so many different topics? Like what doctor you most likely are going to ask for help uh, with your tooth problem? The one who is positioned as pediatrician, dentist, chiropractor and surgeon all in one or maybe the one who specializes in only dentistry. Most likely you'll go to second one, right? So same with photographer. Customers most likely will choose photographers who is specializing in particular area, knowing that they will get what they need from a professional, from a photographer who knows how to shoot these specific things which clients want, right? So for me, the big change in my photography business happened when I narrowed down my photography to a studio product photography, jewelry and food. And I put all my efforts to be as good as possible in it. I've spent 100 hours in my studio, focused on different types of product photography, like shiny reflective subject, textured products, jewelry, all the tricky things to work with in the studio. I deeply studied the photos from the best product photographers I can find uh, around online. I read their blogs and I was trying to collect every tiny little bit of insights from their photography process. Not many people share uh, secrets and it was tough. <laughs> I participated in many photography forums uh, trying to learn secrets of commercial studio photography. And then I created a niche product photography portfolio and I filled only with my best shots. And then I stopped all advertising and then the magic happened. Not in one day, but it happened. I start getting bigger and greater clients only from Google organic search and it was unbelievable. Since then I worked with uh, famous brands and developed skills needed to reach and exceed their standards. 
Now I am glad to share with you the essence of my experience and knowledge I gained over all these years. I show you how to create stunning, remark remarkable and technically perfect product images that attract high paying clients. You will learn how to create photos which will please the most perfectionist customers. Let's quickly go through the lessons you will find in this pack. First, tabletop product photography and examples, ebook. It's ebook and basically it's e-video book because I included a post-production video in it. This is a book based on my product photography masterclass we had in Atlanta. And it was five hours class. And during that class, I photographed seven different subjects and demonstrated how to effectively use various light modifiers. By the way, most of them were do-it-yourself. And we use them for completely different product types. And it was quite, quite challenging uh, class because I didn't see the subject for the shot before the class. Students brought them to the class. And, uh, well, it was really challenging to shoot and explain seven different subjects in five hours without any preparation, without knowing what I was going to shoot. We photographed a perfume bottle with glossy cap, men's watch, saxophone, jewelry, the ring, and three different uh, beverage bottles. So, on that book, you will learn how to work fast and efficient, creating custom-built solutions on the fly, without much of the preparation. See, things like this will impress any client, showing how flexible and problem-solving photographer can be. And this is great. This book is 60-page PDF and over one hour of post-production photo editing in Photoshop. The second is the course, how to start in studio photography equipment. Uh, this online course is a complete guide for beginner of studio photography as well as for photographers uh, for all experience levels who want to expand their experience in studio photography. What you will learn in this course is about all about equipment. Equipment needed to start in studio photography. Every day I receive emails from fellow photographers with questions asking my suggestion about studio lighting, cameras, lenses, grips, support and uh, you know all the light modifiers and even more questions about how to use all that equipment. In this course I share with you everything I have learned about cameras and lenses, lights and light modifiers, stands, support, you know grip, all the things which I use in studio. I'll show you my do-it-yourself project and much more. I know how frustrating and expensive the trial and error way is when it comes to a studio equipment because everything is really expensive and I'm sure this course will save you time and tons of money. You'll get over three hours of video in this course. Then you'll get two of my product photography workshops. First is, we called it, how to create the clinique style photos of cosmetic products. Basically it was inspired um, by the clean style of clinic shots, clinic products on the white ground. What you will learn from this photography workshop? How to shoot professional quality cosmetic products on the white ground with minimal post-production. You will get two and a half hours of video tutorial recorded at 40G Live workshop and it includes complete photo shoot and questions and answers and all the troubleshooting we had during the workshop. You will learn how to create clean, beautiful shots inspired by clinic cosmetic work. You will gain experience on working with studio monorail large camera and find out why photographers are using these cameras in commercial product photography. Also, you will find how to polish products, images of products in Photoshop. How to make them look better than the real life. That's what customers are looking for. Our retoucher will show you how to combine multiple images to get a perfect looking product shot at the end. This workshop includes over three and a half hours of post-production video. Second workshop is about creative product shot. We used an example uh, that perfume bottle you see. And what you will learn from this advertising photography workshop, because I call it advertising, the shot is advertising product shot. You will develop a photography technique to work with clear glass and not only glass, anything clear. 
uh, subjects in studio. These photo techniques will work for fine art, drinking, and bar glasses, or many other subjects uh, you'll find in cos commercial advertising product photography. You'll learn how to shoot pieces with small crystals and gemstones on it, and how to make them pop and shine. This workshop includes two and a half hours video from the shot from A to Z, questions and answers and troubleshooting as well during the shot. And uh, the whole photo editing in Photoshop is included. Our retoucher is going to show you how to process the shot to achieve that unique polished look of the product. Over an hour of photo editing is included. Then, and it's really cool, you will get my video, over an hour of video, where I share, share my eight years experience in business. And I call it how to run a business of commercial photography. I'm talking about uh, experience in starting commercial photography business. I'll share all our basic experience, how we uh, were looking for clients, where we finding them and where we were wasting our time. I also will show you our real business estimates uh, and give you templates for the invoices. And uh, we'll show you how we um, created our price for assignments, licensing and well, much more. This is very helpful uh, for newcomers as well as for established photographers who are expanding their client base and getting to a new markets. Also, there are 10 video tutorials for you covering the most challenging pieces in commercial product photography. Most challenging shots and uh, each shot will give you a very specific and very useful techniques on how to work with those subjects. So first is this photography tutorial, perfume shot, that's how you call it. Again, working with large format camera and you learn how I created this shot from the very beginning to the final click. All done in a studio and not much that in Photoshop. You'll find uh, why and I used that Monorail Studio Technical Camera for this shot and uh, you'll see advantages and disadvantages of using such cameras in product photography. Another behind the scene video is this microphone shot. It's over 30 minutes of video of uh, creating this image and I would say 95% was done in studio, almost as is from the camera, that's what we see. Then this watch shot. I call it step-by-step -step jewelry photography tutorial uh, because you will learn how to shoot watches. Not only a uh, watch like this, but anything, uh, any watch will be, same technique can be applied uh, to shoot any watch. And uh, you will learn how to use photography cone the most efficient way and uh, how to use it to shoot watches. <laughs> the technique I show you is quite universal for any glossy subject. It will work for jewelry, uh, for watches, for all uh, little subjects in the studio. This lesson also includes over an hour of uh, photo editing in Photoshop. In this video, Retoucher will show you how to polish shiny pieces, how to make a little gemstones to make pop and, uh, well, much more you'll get. You'll know uh, there's techniques in post-production uh, which we use in jewelry photography and, uh, well, most of photographers keep uh, this stuff secret, but not me. This uh, fashion accessories and fabric photography uh, tutorial. It's behind the scene uh, of this shot and you'll find uh, how to deal with textured subject in the studio, like, like, like a fabric. It will work for, well, for any uh, clothing in the studio, right? Shooting black shiny shoes, step-by-step -step photography tutorial. You'll see how to deal with glossy footwear. This uh, behind-the-scene uh, guide, I would say, um, is how to build the lighting and how to shoot that glossy man's shoe. Behind the scene of Godiva liquor splash shot. This is crazy shot. Uh, you see uh, it has uh, liquid splashes, uh, it's uh, chocolate and milk. So you'll know how to create a uh, composite shot and uh, well, how we work with bottle, with liquid and how we put it together. This coffee maker behind this shot, uh, scene video, 25 minutes of video, step-by-step -step guide through the shot. It's a great help in learning the composition and lighting for plastic products. Well, it's just a plastic, right? And uh, behind the scene includes breakdown of each light, dealing with reflective glossy objects in product photography. This is a great tutorial about how to, well, how to shoot uh, this glossy subject. And this is quite a tricky part of tabletop photography. 
And uh, this tutorial is a great example how to control the reflections, how to create glossy look on those reflected areas of products uh, which you shoot. And uh, it includes a video tutorial and uh, also the article where I explain the lighting setup and everything. This creative hand tool shot behind the scene and post-production video is included. It's hammer hitting a balloon, kind of cool. And uh, it includes all pieces of getting the shot uh, done. Precise work with the glossy metal of the hammer, creation of the liquid splash and post-production where we put all the separate pieces together in the final composition. It's a great way to learn how to do a composite shots in commercial studio photography. And uh, it's, it's very important to know how to do this because that's what uh, client will be paying for. Behind the scene of uh, the C4 assignment. Again, how to shoot glossy subject and this one is tricky because it's brushed. It has lots of texture and it's glossy. And uh, we have a video where I explained how we did this assignment. Tutorial covers the specific of shooting this glossy subject. And, uh, well, you'll get an idea how we do our actual commercial assignments. Also, when you order this uh, Advanced Product Photography Essentials Pack, you'll get a free bonus. It's one of my bestsellers, a book called uh, Do-It-Yourself Solutions for Jewelry Photography. This ebook is about jewelry photography, gemstones, necklaces to be specific. Why I included this jewelry ebook in this pack? Because solutions and techniques I show in this book will work for any small subject in your studio and uh, along the techniques I show you and uh, how to create let's say do-it-yourself uh, con will save you a huge amount of money and because I want to make sure that you'll get the most from these lessons there is another great deal for you my personal support when you get this pack we'll create a special account for you on FortiG or upgrade your existing uh, membership if you already have it which will give you an access to our support forum. It's a private support forum. Don't mix it with ProCorner membership, it's different. Any questions you may have, any issues with the shots you might be getting while going through the lessons in this pack will be addressed on that support forum. Also, I'll be posting updates, behind the scenes videos and other cool things for you on that support forum. Basically, I want to add value to this pack uh, over the time when I will be working uh, this with your feedback. I'll make sure that you will get as much value as you need from this pack to boost your photography to the next level, to grow your business and become the best in industry. Why I'm so confident that this pack of lessons will help you? Because it works. It simply works. It works for photographers who use my techniques, which I showed in these lessons. I've seen how dramatically they have improved their results and how many of them start getting uh, much uh, more serious clients. Let me introduce you to Curtis Hustos, photographer who specializes in watching jewelry photography. By the way, he's shooting tons of stuff for Amazon. What he's uh, saying about my lessons and tutorials. And Photogy is the number one stop. It really is, it should be. Shoot something you like, I like watches. So grab a watch and shoot it and post it, post your setup. And then Alex will tell you, you know, how to make it better. And then shoot another one. And then apply what you learned in the first one. And you get better and better and better. Yeah. You have setup guides. You lead them step by step on how to do stuff. Um, and mimic what you see. Or at least that's how I learn. You learn by doing. Do. Uh, participate. Uh, buy, his, buy Alex's books. Can't recommend them enough. I keep mine on my iPad. And I always refer back to setup guys and things like that. I want to say that this pack is not for everyone. It won't work for big photographers who are not confident in their work. People who do not believe that they can be the best in what they do. People who always find an excuse to why they can't be the best. Either because they don't have um, experience or maybe expensive equipment, or maybe knowledge in marketing or good communication skills, or something else. See, I didn't have any of these things and it didn't stop me from getting where I am now. This is not a magic pill. You have to master all the skills needed for success yourself. I only will give you shortcuts which will save you time and boost your creativity and effectiveness. But listen, you have to put all these lessons to work by yourself as soon as you get this package. This pack will work for action-oriented, self-motivated photographer who is ready to fight 
and win. I know that you really, really enjoy to learn techniques I show you in these lessons and fill new portfolio with amazing photos. Photos which will attract clients, which are fresh and new and represent your creativity and talent. You will get a huge boost in your photography and eventually create a stress-free, dependable business which you will be proud of. While on other photography markets competition grows and compensation falls, think about wedding and event photography, for example. Every guy with DSLR can possibly compete with a professional photographer there, right? We all see this. Advertising and product photography is opposite. Competition is low and competitors are limited to small amount of professionals and market demand is huge and growing fast. Look at product photos uh, in magazines and websites all around. Will you be able to deliver a better, faster and more efficiently working advertising product images to your clients? How much will your clients be willing to work with you knowing that your images will sell any of their products? How much it will change your life? And more importantly, it will really benefit other people which you'll be working with to grow their business when you do it right. You can make a tremendous difference in the lives of other people. So, now it's time for you to take action. Get your copy of this Advanced photo Product Photography Lessons Pack and invest in your education. Do it yourself and be outstanding. See you.